this is anand mahajan your instructor for this course of python now this is our first lecture that will deal with the dates this video is brought to you by api pies academy so in order to work with dates you have to remember that there is a module called date time so date time module has to be imported okay so i will write import and then date time module okay so far so good now let me take an object or you can say a variable here i would write date time dot date time and then i would go give a date like suppose i give 1998 comma after that we are supposed to give the month and then day okay let me explain this see date is an object uh, it, it's a, it's kind of variable now this date time refers to the module that we have imported and what about this date time remember this is the class present in the date time module at this time we are in fact invoking the constructor of this class date time and while invoking this constructor we are supposed to pass three at least three arguments and the first argument is the year second argument is the month third argument is the day so this is representing the date 31st january 1998 right so now what can i do is i can print this object dt so what we have done here is let me again explain it we have created a date object we have created a date object by using which class date time class date time class is present in which module date time module right so when we pass these arguments the constructor of this class would be executed and the date object will be created and here i am getting the value of this date object printed let's execute this program control shift f10 okay so i should have simply written a one control shift f10 yeah this is the date 1998 is the year 01 is the month 31 is the is the day and 00000 this represents the time later i will tell you how to print the time also anyways so uh, this is how we people can create a date object and then we can deal with it in this um, lecture itself i am going to tell you how we people can know about the current date and time it's very easy to do it uh, i have put these statement two statements into comments so uh, dt is equal to date time uh, module name and then i would write dot date time dot now i would write now so remember now is a method is a function which is going to return the current date and the current time and as i have explained earlier this date time which i have highlighted is in fact the name of the class which is present in this module date time which we have already imported let me use print and here i would write dt let's execute it control shift f10 okay as you can see today is 15th march 2019 so 
uh, when I am writing this program. So it is exactly the right time, uh, right date, sorry. And this is the right time. It's uh, 20, 20, 4, 1. This is your hours. So 20 means 8. And this is your minutes. This is your seconds. And these are your microseconds. Right. So this is how we people can, I have just uh, uh, discussed the basics of creating a date object and how we can get the current date and current time. In the next lecture, we will be learning a lot about uh, 